To have your vision taken away from you changes everything. With little fanfare, last month was declared Vision Health Month. The event barely got a mention in the media, but heard loud and clear by the nearly one million Canadians living with vision loss, including Jerry Stoltz. CNIB Regional Manager in Kelowna. While most have 2020 vision, Jerry has 20 over 400, meaning what we see from 20 feet away would be the equivalent of 400 feet for him. Well, for instance, uh, I can take in uh, more or less the, the, the fact that there is a building, but just across the street from where I am is, is Cheetah's nightclub, and I, I know that there's a, a big sign just above the doorway, but I would have no idea uh, what it says. Uh, I, I know it's cheated as only because somebody has told me. To give you a better idea of what Jerry and those who suffer from similar vision loss have to go through in their everyday lives, these goggles set at 20 over 200, half of what Jerry sees, give you a pretty good idea. This particular lens is, is designed to reflect of uh, vision acuity, what we call 20 over 200. That is the uh, definition of legal blindness. Or how about glaucoma, uh, one of the most common causes of blindness and affects 250,000 Canadians. Uh, It often occurs in older people, but it can develop at any age. This is a really difficult one because glaucoma can occur without little to no pain and can be a problem with uh, an individual for years before they really know that they have a problem. Other more obvious dangers for a person coping with vision loss would be something most take for granted, such as a simple stroll on a downtown sidewalk. A very dangerous thing for those of us that are partially sighted and blind coming at me right now just so happens to be a a sign in, in the middle of the street. Now, if I, quite possibly as a visually impaired person, if I wasn't alerted to this or taught, um, I could walk right into it. How are you doing? Fine, thank you. Two medium coffees. So, whether they like it or not, the visually challenged often rely on complete strangers to help them navigate the city, something Jerry says is humbling. Maybe I need you as a waitress to take me to the washroom. And I still need to get there, but I still, and I need to ask you, but I still want to be able to still feel as a whole person, a guy, and and none of that is taken away from me. So, that challenge of developing those skills sits with me and I have to, so I spent years kind of developing that, being able to still feel whole and complete even though I was allowing others to assist me. And let's not forget the wonderment, always wondering what it would be like to see. I'm aware, I'm aware of what I'm losing or missing out on, right? You know, not being able to drive, It must be wonderful. In the end, Jerry and the others who suffer from vision loss are asking for a little understanding and send a message at the same time to those who are at the early stages of losing their sight. I guess the main thing that I wanted you to uh, understand as we explored the world of visual impairment was the fact that there's a diverse range of people that are coping with vision loss, everywhere from people that are totally blind all the way to people who have minimal problems with the vision. But nevertheless... Uh, you know, everyone is still struggles around adjustment. Mainly we want you to know uh, there is life after vision loss, although traumatic. There is, there is a, a healthy way that people can do things. And we love to move people forward. And that's our goal. That's our objective. Thank you. In Kelowna, Kelly Hayes, Castanet Media.